Oh hi there big boys and welcome to my review of Mushroom Quest for the Nintendo Switch. So this is basically just a flash game they put on the Switch, I'll be honest. Uh it's alright, it's fine, but it's it's like it's you're done in it in about what, a half hour? About as long as it took me to beat the game. And there's thirty levels, which isn't very many. So right, this game is a basic puzzle game where you you know the one where you sort of push blocks into other blocks and you know, put them on buttons and put them in holes to try and go jump across and that sort of thing. There's a lot of these sort of games, and basically this game does nothing new, so it makes it, it's just a bit standard. And there's must be hundreds of free games which do the exact same thing, probably just as well, if not better. So I don't really recommend this game, uh, to be honest. Even though the actual game is fine, the actual game is not functionally bad. It's just I don't see the point in paying money for this game when it's also not like it's so short as well. It is, I mean, 30 levels when most levels take you maybe what two minutes to beat. It's like, Ugh. but let's talk about the actual game, shall we? So it's got some pretty basic graphics as you can see, but they're fine. It's a decent enough pixel art, I suppose. No one's ever going to be overly impressed by them, but they're there, and I suppose you know they do the job, and you can quite easily tell what each object is, so it's not too bad. Uh, what else is there? Controls quite well, to be fair. You can use the analog stick to uh, move in a fast, you know, quick velocity, and you can use the D-pad for precision, which is very nice because there's a lot of times you are going to need to do that because there doesn't seem to be an undo button. So it means that if you make a mistake, uh, yeah, you're screwed. You don't want to make mistakes, so you've got to be careful. No story, as you might imagine. Uh, there's pretty good level design, though, to be fair, in this game. i I got to say, the actual puzzles were quite well made and normally weren't too hard but they were they weren't immediately obvious most of the time there are a few which were painfully obvious like the sort of the second you turn them on you're like oh I know I know what to do uh but you know they're not too bad and they do ramp up in difficulty the, the last one being relatively difficult i suppose but as i say only 30 levels so and that means there's not much space for mechanics or new mechanics that are introduced uh so basically there's i'd say four mechanics that are like separate to the basic moving blocks and um they're all quite simple and they are yeah they're then that's not very good but i guess with a small amount of levels it's not too bad but you expect more because it's all just quite you know i want it needs a hook it needs some sort of something to keep you making you want to play this one instead of the hundreds of other ones there is but there we are that is uh mushroom quest i believe a bit of a weird name as well yeah i don't know it's just a flash game really but if you like this sort of games, I mean, I still feel like if you like this sort of game, you there's just, you're better off playing any other game like this, really. But yeah, it's not too bad. It's fine. It functions fine. Does its job fine. So that's it, really. Thanks for watching, big boys. Some point in time, and bye. bye, bye.